22,000 Catholics in our diocese. Our celebrant for the seventh Sunday of Easter is the Reverend Monsignor Michael R. Billion, Dean of the St. Agnes Deanery, Pastor of Most Blessed Sacrament Catholic Church and of Corpus Christi University Parish, Toledo. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Jesus promised to send another advocate. Let us now open our hearts to the healing presence of God's Spirit as we prepare to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord, you are the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, you show us how to love. Christ, have mercy. Lord, you send us the gift of the Holy Spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Gladden us with holy joys, Almighty God, and make us rejoice with devout thanksgiving. For the ascension of Christ your Son is our exaltation, and where the head has gone before in glory, the body is called to follow in hope. Through our Lord Jesus Christ your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In the first book, Theophilus, I dealt with all that Jesus did and taught until the day he was taken up, after giving instructions through the Holy Spirit to the apostles whom he had chosen. 
He presented himself alive to them by many proofs after he had suffered, appearing, appearing to them during 40 days and speaking about the kingdom of God. While meeting with them, he enjoined them not to depart from Jerusalem, but to wait for the promise of the Father about which you have heard me speak. For John baptized with water, but in a few days you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. When they had gathered together, they asked him, Lord, are you at this time going to restore the kingdom to Israel? He answered them, It is not for you to know the times or the seasons that the Father has established by his own authority, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, throughout Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. When he had said this, as they were looking on, he was lifted up, and a cloud took him from their sight. While they were looking intently at the sky as he was going, suddenly two men dressed in white garments stood beside them. They said, Men of Galilee, why are you standing there looking at the sky? This Jesus who has been taken up from you into heaven will return in the same way as you have seen him going into heaven. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, may the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, 
give you a spirit of wisdom and revelation, resulting in knowledge of him. May the eyes of your hearts be enlightened, that you may know what is the hope that belongs to his call, what are the riches of glory in his inheritance among the holy ones, and what is the surpassing greatness of his power for us who believe. In accord with the exercise of his great might, which he worked in Christ, raising from the dead and seating him at his right hand in the heavens, far above every principality, authority, power, and dominion, and in every name that is named, not only in this age, but also in the one to come. And he put all things beneath his feet and gave him as head over all things to the church, which is his body, the fullness of the one who fills all things in every way. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory, Glory to you, O Lord. The eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain to which Jesus had ordered them. When they saw him, they worshipped, but they doubted. Then Jesus approached and said to them, All power in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go, therefore, and make disciples of all nations baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always, until the end of the age. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. As we gather to celebrate the great solemnity of the ascension of our Lord, we have the opportunity to hear two accounts of that great moment in sacred history, both in the Acts of the Apostles today as well as in the Gospel of Matthew. We have the experience of two viewpoints of Jesus ascending to heaven. In both, it is obvious that he is going and that we are being sent. In the opening prayer of the Mass, we prayed so beautifully today that where the head of the church has gone, the body will follow. Where Jesus has gone, all of us, members of his body, have the opportunity to follow. But before we're ready to follow him directly into eternity, we have some work to do. We are being sent, sent to do the work that the Lord has empowered us to do to make disciples of all nations, to invite other people into a relationship with Jesus Christ. The people we run into day, day in and day out, people we go to school with, that we live in our neighborhood with, that we work with, we are invited to introduce the Lord Jesus to them. And if we follow the example and instructions of St. Francis of Assisi, we should be preaching the gospel always and only use words when necessary. So we are sent not necessarily to preach with our lips, but with our lives, with the decisions that we make, with the actions that we take, with the attitudes that we embrace. People should know that we are members of the body of Christ and that we have been sent to invite them to be disciples. That is our call. Let us answer it with courage. Let us offer our petitions through the Lord Jesus, who is taken up to heaven and intercedes for us at the right hand of God. For all who have been washed clean with the blood of Jesus, may the church bear witness to the ends of the earth. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. 
for those for whom life seems empty and without hope. May the Lord use us to help people see the peace and the hope the gospel offers to us. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For all races and nations, may repentance for past injustice lead to mutual forgiveness. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For all who are critically ill or in danger of death, may their confidence be in Christ. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For this community's mission to proclaim the good news, may we be clothed with power from on high. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For those taken from our sight by death, especially our deceased mothers, may they be lifted up to be with Christ in glory. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. God, our Father, out of love for the world, you sent your Son to redeem us and the Holy Spirit to be with us. Guide our every action so that our lives may give glory to your holy name. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. We offer sacrifice now in supplication, O Lord, to honor the wondrous ascension of your Son. Grant, we pray, that through this most holy exchange, we too may rise up with the heavenly realms. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For the Lord Jesus, the King of glory, conqueror of sin and death, ascended today to the highest heavens as the angels gazed in wonder. Mediator between God and man, judge of the world and Lord of hosts, he ascended not to distance himself from our lowly state, but that we, his members, might be confident of following where he, our head and founder, has gone. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, Every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. As we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. And with you. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who allow those on earth to celebrate divine mysteries, grant, we pray, that Christian hope may draw us onward to, to where our nature is united with you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. The Catholic Diocese of Toledo is pleased that you could join us for Sunday Catholic Mass from Our Lady, Queen of the Most Holy Rosary Cathedral. Sunday Catholic Mass is made possible from your generous donations to the annual Catholic Appeal. Closed captioning is provided by Allied Media Group. Today's assembly was from Corpus Christi University Parish, Toledo. Music was provided by Elizabeth Brown, under the direction of Luke Rosen. Flowers were from Bart's Viviano Flowers and Gifts. Extraordinary ministers of Holy Communion from your parish are eager to bring the Eucharist from today's liturgy to you. Call your parish office to make arrangements for their visit. Peace be with you. That's how Jesus first greeted his disciples after his resurrection. The Catholic cemeteries of the Diocese of Toledo want you to experience the peace of our Lord and peace of mind in making end-of-life decisions. Planning now for the beautiful contemplative surroundings in Mount Carmel, Calvary, and Resurrection Cemeteries will help you and your loved ones feel welcomed into the arms of our Lord. Contact the Catholic cemeteries today and peace be with you.